long. Oh my goodness. It's, oh, so much has happened in my life in the last four weeks. Oh my gosh, my poor grandfather has been in and out of hospital. He's been super, super unwell, so I've wanted to spend as much time with him as I could. But he has perked up, he's feeling much better now. He's back at home and doing well day by day. So um, I hope you're feeling better, Gramsies. Uh, also, I had a car accident. If anyone's have a car, had, blah, 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 blah. if anyone has ever had a car accident with a car that's less than a year old, you can understand that. Oh my god, it is the most devastating thing. All I could think was, oh my god, my wheels, my beautiful wheels, and oh, it was devastating. But I'm just lucky that no one in my car was hurt. Everyone was okay. And the garbage truck driver was very apologetic. So there's nothing I can do about it. Everything's out of my hands. It's just a lot of stuff has happened in the past four weeks. And I've been having a lot of anxiety over it. And I need to just put my YouTube hat on and relax a little bit. So if you're having a bad day, I hope this brings you a little bit of joy. And at least helps you relax for the next five minutes or however long I decide to ramble today. Let's hope it's not too long because we all know how much I love to talk. So today I'm going to show you all the fun things I bought in Bali. I know I'm super, super late. I wasn't going to film it, but I decided I had to because every single one of these products I bought, oh my God, you guys, I have found some new favorites that I cannot live without and I need to share it with you. So let's start with the show. First thing I want to show you is a really random item. It's Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara. It's this small. I'll take it out of the packet for you. I have used it already, of course, because I just can't help myself. And it comes in this gorgeous tiny little tube like that. And if you open it up, ah! okay, oh, you can't see it. Look how cute that little wand is. It's absolutely cute. Now, I did not buy this for the cuteness factor, if that's what you're thinking. There is a reason for it. Now, Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara is really well known for not giving you that black smudge under your eye. And because I have such an oily T-zone and an oily eyelid, I do always get mascara fallout under my eyes and always get that panda eye look. So I decided I wanted to give this a go while I could buy it GD free and honestly it is the best thing ever. Honestly no black under my eye. It makes my bottom lashes really long and it's just a really good product. You don't need very much of it so you know, it's worth it. It'll last you a really long time. For me, it's worth it anyway. If you don't get that sort of fallout from regular chemist slash price line mascaras, then lucky you. But unfortunately, I do get that black panda eye fallout and this product is amazing to prevent that. And I cannot tell you people, you must try it if you do get it because if it shits you as much as I do, you know, it always do this. And then all your concealer under your eyes, you've just rubbed off with that mascara as well. So what was the point of wearing this? It's like a slippery slope when it comes to makeup. So give Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara a try. Honestly, amazeballs. Next, I bought the Estee Lauder Pure, Pure Color Eyeshadow Duo in Raisins. Now, I'm not usually one to buy Estee Lauder because... This is going to sound really, really horrible, but I always thought it was like an older, late, mature ladies brand. And recently I walked by their counter and I fell in love with a blush that I'm wearing now. It's a limited edition blush. And oh my gosh, the pigmentation, the way it just goes on, it's just really beautiful product and a really beautiful formula and you don't look like you're over blushed, you don't, that it spreads really well, it evens out really well um, and I was just really impressed by it. So I thought I'd try and get something else and a big cult favourite on YouTube is these eyes this eyeshadow duo. You do get a little 
brushy in there, but you know, who, who really uses these things, seriously? Get so, invest in some nice eye brushes if you like to wear eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. You've got a lighter pink color here. Oh gosh, can you see? So you've got a light pink color here and then like a nice deep raisiny color there. I love the combination. If you don't like to like wear, I guess, over the top makeup, this is a great way to start because you can put the light pink all over your lid and just have a black liner and keep it like that. Or you can have the, um, the pink all over your eye and then like do like a smoked out effect on the outer V with this raisiny color. And I absolutely love it. The eyeshadow is like butter, honestly, like pure butter. And I'll, I'll swatch it on my hand. Honestly, so beautiful. Like the pigmentation is crazy. You probably can't see the pink one very well. But it, it's beautiful and it, oh, oh, I just can't say enough. So if you're ever looking for a, Chris, a, a Christmas present, just getting this eyeshadow palette I think is a really nice luxurious present that some people may not tend to buy for themselves. So check into that. Next I got a MAC paint pot in Let Me Pop. Doesn't sound very good, Let Me Pop. Anyway. Um, I really wanted a neutral coloured um, paint pot because this is my first paint pot. I've never bought one before. It kind of looks like this in this little sort of glass jar. And that is what the colour looks like. It's sort of a pearlescent orange gold tone shimmer. And it's pro long wear so it makes a really nice eyeshadow base and it's very creamy and very pigmented. And if you are the type of person who just wants to slap one color on your eyes and some mascara and go, these sorts of paint pots are really good because they have all sorts of colors. They've got coppers, burgundies, pinks, uh, just a fluorescent pearly white, like anything you can think of, they have a color. And honestly, it's amazing. I have oily eyelids, so I do like to use a primer on top. And this is a great way to get an eyeshadow primer slash base. Honestly, really lovely. I do think it's very expensive to buy here in Australia. So if you really want one, maybe get like just a neutral color, then it'll go with all sorts of different eyeshadows or try and buy it online or something because it, it isn't the cheapest thing. So I do love it though. It is, it's definitely something you should have in your collection. If you're the type of person who's very no fuss, no muss and just want to slap something on and go. So MAC paint pots are really, really lovely. You guys need to get into that one. Something else I bought, which was a little bit of an impulse buy, but I'm kind of happy and kind of not happy at the same time. It's the Dior Addict Lip Experts Glow Duo. Like, ugh, sorry, it's very reflective. It is a beautiful box, beautiful packaging. What you do get is a lip balm and a lip gloss. The lip balm is called the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. It's supposed to, I guess, nourish your lips and the cut, like it's supposed to be a clear color, but it changes color onto everyone's lips. So it might be deeper on one person's lips and it might be lighter or even bright, like a hot pink on another person's lips. So it really depends. My only thing about this is it's a very expensive product and it's really not that moisturizing to be honest with you. Like, you know, I, uh, I'm sorry Dior, it, it's not a moisturizing product at all. It, it's just, what a waste, honestly. I, I do really regret this one. I mean, I don't regret the Duo, the other product, but the lip balm, Dior lip balm, uh, this particular one is really not a good product, don't buy it. Great gift though, if you wanted to buy a Duo. <laughs> it looks good, but one product to me is not that great. Anyway, on the upside, I got a Lip Maximizer Collagen Active. Right, it's just basically a plain lip gloss with a doe fit applicator. Um, the only thing that shits me about this is these sorts of lip gloss usually have like a brush applicator. I'm not a big fan of the doe fit applicators, so um, Dior, change it to a little brushy tip like your other ones. I don't see why this one had to be different. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is supposed to plump up your lips. Um, if you like peppermint and a real tingly feeling, this will give it to you. 
I wouldn't say I got Angelina Jolie lips out of it, but um, it does plump it up a little bit. A little bit. Nothing crazy. Don't don't think you're gonna get a big trap out of it because you're not. So that was a little disappointing, Dior. But you know, I cannot complain. I'll still use it, but um, if I had to repurchase it, probably not. Something I got which I'm super excited about was Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation. A lot of people talk about this foundation, and as you know, I am a foundation whore, and I have hordes of foundations, and I just can't help myself. So I had to buy this, get, gave it a go, go, and while I was in there, it was really funny, because I uh, said to the lady at the counter, where's your luminous silk foundation? And the girl next to me said, it's here, it's here, it's here. She goes, do you know what David Jones, it's like $90? And I'm like, yes. She goes, oh, I'm, I'm stocking up, because I think duty free, it was about $50 or $55 which is a massive saving from what we pay here. So I was on hot to trot, the bottle. I cannot tell you, it's pretty. It's just so pretty. And then like, you get a little pumpy tube. Oh, the only downside to a lot of foundations is it's in a glass bottle. And you know, I like to really use the shit out of my products. And if it's a plasticky bottle, I usually chop the top off and dig my brush in there and dig everything out. So that's the only downside. But it is a very luxurious product. A very gorgeous product too. I got mine in, the colour is 3.5. I still think this is a smidge dark for me, but nothing a little fake tan can't do and a little bronzer can't fix up. So I love this foundation. You guys, get a sample. Seriously, it's beautiful. Very light very luminous, very glowy and dewy. It's just beautiful. So one of my fave foundations at the moment and I've been thrashing it a little bit. So I got to reserve it a bit more because I just don't think I could justify paying $90 here in Australia for it. Sad, but true. I mean, there are other great brands out there that do cheaper foundations that are also high end that I think would be better, but I love it anyway. Next, oh my goodness, I've been wanting to get this for donkey's years and I had the opportunity to get it and I had to get it and I've been using it literally every single day since I got back from Bali. Oh my gosh. So I got the Guerlain Meteorites My Palette, comes in a box like this and if you look at the back of the box there's a picture detailing what you get. So I've literally been using this every single day. I love it, love, love, love it. So it comes like this, in this sort of leather pouch. It's got Guerlain's um, sort of gardenia, I think it's gardenia? Gardenia symbol on there, etched into the pink leather. Oh, sucker for pink, it's like pearlescent pink too. And then literally you just zip it open, and this is what you get in that. There is a mirror here, but I don't wanna reflect it on you. This is the palette you get. You get the classic Guerlain meteorites in the pressed form, as opposed to the ball form. You get a highlighter and a blush and a little brushy here. I haven't used the brush. I don't usually use brushes that come with certain palettes, but this palette is beautiful. I've been using this Meteorites blush. You can use it to set the powder oil all over your face. I specifically use it for under the eye area because I tend to use a lighter concealer to make my cheekbones sort of poke out a bit more so I look a bit more skinnier, if you know what I mean, nice and contoured. And this just gives such a beautiful glow. And I tell you, even the smell is so nice. It's almost like flowers and sherbet. Sounds like a strange combination, but it's really beautiful. It does have a very fine light shimmer to it. So for under the eye area, it's just perfect because it just makes it luminous and glowy and oh, just beautiful. Now this blush is really lovely as it, it is crazy scary pink in the pan, but honestly, it's beautiful. It's just absolutely lovely. I absolutely love it. And oh my God, it's so pretty. Um, and this highlighter is very glittery. It's not for the faint hearted. If you like glitter, you will love this highlighter. It, it's not even light um, glitter too, it's kind of chunky glitter. So I'd say this sort of a highlighter would be more for a really special night out sort of occasion. Maybe even clubbing, nice dinner, whatever. 
it's not subtle. So I've been loving this palette. The only downside is when these run away, you can't really replace, like usually with Guerlain's original palettes, um, you can replace the refill pans and put a new one in so it's a bit cheaper but this one you can't really do so I mean if I'm gonna buy again I'll probably just get the pan and just have it not pretty but which is really sad I guess maybe I could try and dig this out but uh. so that's the only downside you can't sort of pop it out and buy the refill but honestly best product hands down I cannot tell you I've been wearing this every day I love it love it thank you go on where have I been all my life without Guerlain? These are really lovely brand, but expensive brand too. Moving on to take off everything off my face. I had to buy Philosophy's Purity Face Wash. I've heard so much about it. I've used Philosophy's body products before, um, mainly the shower gels and their body lotions. I'm very addicted to them, especially at Christmas time because they always make some crazy ass smells that I just love and after this I'm probably going to pop into DJs and buy some crazy smells for the festive spirit. So I love, 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 love philosophy and I thought I'd give Purity a go. I actually haven't opened it or tried it yet because I'm still finishing off another cleanser I have in my bathroom. but. Um, once I give this a go, I will, maybe I'll do a review on it. If that's what you want, let me know in the box below. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give this a crack soon. Another thing I've got, lipsticks. So when I go to, when I go overseas or anywhere really, mainly overseas, I always love to go into their supermarkets. Don't ask me why. I just love going into their supermarkets. I love to see what they stock. I love to see what, how they present things, what they buy. I know that sounds really freaky and stupid, but I do love going to a supermarket. Like we bought all sorts of random chips and cake and food and lollies and oh my gosh. And we just, it just to try one of everything. Like oh, it's, some of the things we ate were really strange. Like we had taro chips and oh, seaweed Pringles. By the way, that wasn't very nice, but we tried it and Look, got to give it a go. So while I was in there, I dropped by the makeup counter, of course, and everything in Australia is always so ridiculously expensive. So I had to go buy Maybelline and buy some lippies. So why not? So the first thing I got was the Maybelline Color Sensational in Coral Crush 515. Looks a bit like that crazy orangey color and it's beautiful I will swatch you and swatch it for you oh my lord I should have worn it today actually gorgeous it's coming into summer well it is summer today and you, in Australia and you need to wear bright colors I think it's a nice staple thank you Maybelline and I got two of the Maybelline bold matte lipsticks you know what's really strange these lipsticks don't have like a color on them like a code one just says matte one and one says matte two so i'm assuming that's what the colors are which are, is really quite odd so i'll swatch them for you oh now even though these are matte finishes they still have a very creamy texture to them so you can see here, so the middle one is matte one and the last one is matte two. Was it two? Yeah. They, even though they do have a very matte finish, they are super creamy and super beautiful. And honestly, for what you're paying for it, even in Australia, however much it is, it's not that bad for a lipstick. And lipsticks last you for a really long time. So um, give it a go, I, I love them. Good staple, really. I don't like to spend a lot of money on um, lipsticks because I just think, you know, MAC do great lipsticks, but I, I think Maybelline and L'Oreal do a great job as well, equally good. And no one looks at your lips and goes, oh, is that MAC or oh, is that Revlon? It's, it's all about the color and the pigmentation. So whatever's easier for you guys. 
All right, I'm rambling. Let's move on. Last thing. Last few things. So while I was over there, I bought glasses. If n Most of you won't know, I am very, very blind. I wear contacts on the weekends and I wear glasses on the weekdays. So I bought these awesome Ray-Ban Wayfarer style glasses. Oh my lord. What do you think? Do you like them? I do like them. I hope you like them. I bought these, so I was really happy about that. I just bought the frames and then ended up getting the script here. So that's a hot tip for you. If you do have, could have made that quieter. If you do have, need glasses and you're going overseas and it's cheaper, buy them there. My last ones were super old. They were like 10 years old and I knew I had to get rid of them and it was just the perfect opportunity. So you have to do these things when you can. Um, while I was there, I also got a pair of sunnies. Now the reason why I did buy sunglasses is because I got a bit excited while I was there and started running in the water thinking I was Pamela Anderson waving my hair around and I dropped my glasses in the water and couldn't find them anymore. My sunglasses were beautiful Chanel aviators and I could cry, really cry. So to cheer me up, my hubby bought me a pair of new sunnies, which I absolutely love. They're a little bit non-classic style so that you won't get over like the, the aviators, but I love these and I had to get them. So they are Prada ones, comes in a box like that. And you get a massive, like I, I really do, don't like when companies make massive boxes, but anyway, it, it's, it's, it's warranted. They're quite a big pair of sunnies. I bought them in a very light, well actually no, not very light, a very dark tortoiseshell colour. Can you see them? And like the side detailing, there's like a little swirly bit there. Oh, love them. I love them because they make me look super bug-eyed and you know, I just, I love this bug-eyed look. It's quite comical and I always like to have a bit of a laugh at myself. So. Let me know. Do you like them? Do you think they suit me? I'm, I love them. But is it? Mm. Anyway. And that is it, guys. That is my video of all the things I got while I was in Bali. I hope you enjoyed this sort of a video. Uh, again, I'm really sorry it's been so long since I've done another video. I'm going to try and try to put in some more Christmassy videos for you to watch and enjoy. So thank you so much for being so supportive and thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed. I hope you enjoy my little goddess family and we can all be classes together. I love you all so so much. You guys always bring such a smile to my face. Some of the comments have been just so so beautiful and especially in these last four weeks since I've been feeling a little bit low and a little bit anxious about everything. I really do appreciate your comments. You guys are just so phenomenal and just the support I get, it's just so lovely. So thank you so, so much. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.